in memory of John Lennon 40 years after his assassination. It's hard to believe that it has been 40 years since one of the beacons of light that shined upon our consciousness and our world was extinguished. John Lennon touched the lives of so many people with his music, his strong views about peace and stopping war. He was willing to expose all parts of himself, the good and the not so good, yet he always remained true to himself. For those who do not know John Lennon, here's a brief scenario. John Winston Lennon, October 9, 1940, December 8, 1980. Born in Liverpool, England, John was a member of the Beatles, a prolific songwriter, and also had a successful solo career. He was shot and killed as he entered his apartment building in New York City. He was only 40 years old. John Lennon was the first celebrity assassinated. I was 12 years old when the Beatles came to America, and I was immediately drawn to the humor of John Lennon. He demonstrated his intelligence in any interview given. The music of the Beatles was magic at that time, and it certainly lit a fire under me that has not extinguished to this day. I was fortunate to see the Beatles perform live three times. Also, I was fortunate to get close to the stage the last time I saw them, and it was indescribable. John was always the most outspoken, and at one point in 1966, he was considered he was condemned in the United States because of stating that the Beatles were more popular than Jesus. He was not saying that they were greater than Jesus, but just that their popularity extended further. It was the truth at that time. From then on he received death threats and was told that he would be assassinated during their nineteen sixty six United States tour. This is the one of the main reasons the Beatles stopped performing live. Fame was a great pressure on John, and he looked for other avenues to explore having conquered the world. He discovered LSD and used it to open up his creativity. From there, he discovered meditation and went to India to practice and learn from a master. He met Yoko Ono, and they fell in love, even though they were both married at the time. He felt Yoko was his soul mate, and they were together until the end of his life. They started a movement for peace and love. He gained new world recognition for his peace movement and his views against all wars. He expressed his views through his music, and many people paid attention. His goal was to have people get along and follow the path of love and peace. For a time, John went into seclusion, but in 1980, he was making a comeback with a new album, the first in five years, and ready to get back into the, his many causes. Unfortunately, there was a man who was jealous of John's fame and success and decided that he could obtain some fame by killing John Lennon. And on a cold December night, he did the unthinkable. I was fortunate to live in Los Angeles and saw the Beatles in person, as I said, three different times. It was a lasting memory. I followed the Beatles faithfully until their breaking up, and from there I continued to follow each one's solo music. But as always, John seemed to be expressing the feelings that I had. December 8, 1980, I was at the Los Angeles Forum watching the Los Angeles Kings play a hockey game. Suddenly, during the game, I heard a voice tell me to leave the building. I knew there was a reason, and I waited, and the voice said again, leave the building, and I decided to leave right then and there. As I was walking out, one of the guards asked me if I had heard. I thought he meant the hockey score, and I said yes, and I kept walking. When I got to my car, I turned on the radio, and a Beatles song was playing. When it finished, the disc, disc jockey said, In memory of John Lennon, who was shot to death this evening. 
I couldn't believe what I just heard. I kept changing stations to get more information about what had happened. Could not stop crying, and all I did was drive home quickly. It was unbelievable that a man who had tried so hard to stop the war and bring people together with peace and love had been killed by an assassin. Of course I watched the news on television and went to bed with a sense of great loss because John Lennon represented so much of my life. The next day I went to the Redondo Beach Pier and sat staring at the ocean where I said my goodbye to John for all he had brought into my life and I released him into love and light knowing that he was already there. I did not grieve for John Lennon. I know that our fate is predestined many times. Also, I know that there is a spirit world, and he is there. I continue to listen to the Beatles and John Lennon's music and always enjoy it. I am thankful that I lived in the most exciting time there was, the 1960s, and I was able to experience Beatlemania full on. Rather than dwell on his murder, I want to remember all that he did in his short 40 years. He definitely kept me aware of what was going on in the world through his music and his peaceful demonstrations. He gave a voice to the consciousness that so many people were feeling and unable to find the words or ways to express it. John did. Ironically, he was killed on the birthday of Jim Morrison singer, songwriter, and poet of The Doors, who, if he would have lived, would be 77 years old this year. So million, many brilliant men have gone, but their words and music live on. Each year, new people discover John Lennon for the first time. In Havana, Cuba, they have a wonderful bronze statue of John sitting casually on a park bench, as though he's observing those who pass by. Recently, a teenager asked me if I knew who John Lennon was. I just had to smile at that question. Because John was only 40 years old when he died, he will always be remembered young, and I wonder what he would have been like at 80 years of age. He still would have been turning out fabulous music and art, just as Paul McCartney, Ringo, and George Harrison have done throughout the years. Worldwide, he is loved. His legacy will never be forgotten, ever. And in his words, all we're saying is give peace a chance and imagine, just imagine. Thank you, John, for everything. Many blessings of love and light to you. And may his message continue to reverberate around the world. God bless. <laughs>